Bum, 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 bum. Do you guys remember Laser Pecker 3? Well, it's time for Laser Pecker 4. It's back. And this time, it's pissed off. That's right, the latest and greatest from Laser Pecker. This baby's loaded with new features. Let's see what it's got. The Laser Pecker is, of course, a laser engraving tool. You can use this for all kinds of crafts and pecking. What's in the box? Ah! Ah! Oh. Well, the user's ma user manual is a little thicker in Laser Pecker 4. I gotta say, looks like some assembly required. Let's see if we can figure this out. Assembly seems to be fairly simple. Um, you know, we just basically bolt this stand thing to here because of this little toolkit thing here. Everything's included for you. Idiot proof, which means even I should be able to do it. Yes. Yeah, soon, soon we will be pecking away. Pecking away with my pecker, the laser pecker. Now we must mount the pecker head upon the laser pecker. Yes, yes. I'll also be assembling this rotating chuck thing it's got here. It's like a lathe almost, you know, for doing round things or anything. I don't know if we'll be doing any of that today, but I'll at least put it together. Basically so just assemble this together and you put some jaws on it. It's like a drill chuck. This is a slide extender. Uh, it came with that. I just put this together. Uh, and then I noticed in the instructions it says it can do cutting. So I can do laser cutting? Hmm. We're going to have to check out the, the app with the, with the Laser Pecker 4. Because the Laser Pecker 3 wouldn't do that. Here's the rotary assembly here. It's just like a chuck. You tighten things up so you, you can do long things. You know, I could do ratchets or all kinds of stuff. And we might play with that, but let's do the basics because I'm not a uh, laser pecker expert, as it were. The laser pecker fort now includes a protective cover, uh, which is a good thing. The laser pecker 3 did not have that, uh, and these lasers are incredibly dangerous, so you should use that and wear goggles the entire time. I know that because you guys told me to do that last time while I was standing here bare-eyed staring at it and permanently damaging my retinas. I've downloaded the Laser Pecker app and I'm gonna to connect to the Laser Pecker 4. Beep, I'm connected now. I come with these little blanks here. I'm just gonna practice on one of them before I do anything too crazy. You want to set your focal distance to about 150 millimeters, which is 15 centimeters, I guess. Now I'm using the Laser Pecker app to edit this photo of the King Cobra from our main channel, Pole Barn Garage. I'm just kind of scrubbing the edges with an eraser. It's got a little bit of a look to it, you know. To measure the width of our workpiece here. I think actually like as wide as we want our uh, image to be so we don't necessarily want it to be the whole thing right we just want it to be like kind of in the middle so 70 millimeters wide automatically sets your height at 40 millimeters tall so now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the laser preview so we can get that lined up so there's actually two red lasers being shot right here and you want them to be turned into one that's going to make sure that your focal point is correct. And the green laser here is the middle of the picture, I think. Yeah. And that's the actual picture there. So wherever you want it to be, that's where you want that. Sending the information over to the laser pecker right now. We have uh, Chinese letters here and uh, Chinese there. Uh, we're probably going to go with uh, those Chinese letters, I think. That's probably the right one. Uh, material. Now, they have a lot of presets in here. Uh, our material is wood, which is not an option. So we'll go with custom. Uh, and let's burn the shit out of it. Let's go with, like, 20. Uh, one pass. Start. Counting down. Laser pecker. Two. One. Confirm.
Whenever you're ready, Mr. Pecker. Any uh, any time now. This uh, appears to be doing very little pecking, as it were. So that's probably a little spicy. Uh, I'm gonna guess. It is literally on fire. Turns out it was the uh, other Chinese letters that was the problem. What does that mean? I have no idea. Huh, it's burning right through that. I feel like I should probably stop. Look, okay, it is power at uh, 93% and depth at 25. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. That's more like it. Anyway, let's start another fire. I think it was a little high still. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I, uh, something wrong there. It'll definitely cut right through wood, though. No problem. Okay, this is 20% power. Still smoky, but it's uh, maybe doing something without burning through it now? Not having a lot of luck with the balsa wood that's provided, so got a piece of, uh, I don't know, something out of the woods. And uh, it's thicker, so it should be better. So let's start our preview. Right, we're gonna have to go smaller on the image. Getting closer to dialing in the proper power and whatnot. So we're gonna go down to 10% power, 25% depth, and see what that does. That seems a lot more like it. Uh -huh. Well, that's uh, better. You know, a little refinement, you could get that nailed down. That's pretty cool, though. Make a good ornament, maybe, or something. I don't know. I, not terribly artistic. I do want to see if I can engrave my name upon my Golden Harbor Freight Ratchet. Now, I remember from my previous Laser Pecker adventures that uh, if you have something shiny, color it in with, like, a Sharpie, It'll be dark, and then the laser can be absorbed into the material. We're going to engrave this golden ratchet of honor. Turns out I had the wrong app for the rotary extension. I had to get a different app, and that seems to have helped. So we're going to have to color a little more Sharpie in. We have the preview laser on there now. That's how wide it'll be. We want these two red dots to line up. Uh, yeah, so we'll color a little more black on there. And, uh oh, see what happens. Well, I have nothing to go off of. So, uh, we're gonna go 40% power, 45% depth, and just make one pass and see what happens. I don't know if I should have cranked up the no, power. I think you should have. I can do it now. Yeah. 100% powers. Apparently, the this axis and this axis don't correlate to this axis and this axis in here. This app is just not good. I'm sorry. I can't. I don't know. I don't understand it. But uh, it worked. It carved an R into the side of it, but it was like that big. So my ratchet's ruined, but I still want to see if I can make this work. So now, much faster. We went much smaller. And there you have it. That looks very nice, very fancy. Uh, and then we have R for uh, mistake. Wipe off the Sharpie and see what it looks like. Yeah, and there we go. It's in there. If I would have put it on 2K, it would have burned it uh, as deep as it did the R for uh, victory. That's what that's for. Yep, that's what that means. So anyway, there you have it. The Laser Pecker 4 is capable of... Uh, it's a lot more powerful than Laser Pecker 3, and definitely going to take a little get used to. Uh, I think we will probably use this, though, uh, to make some cool stuff. Maybe pick up these gold-plated ratchets and, I don't know, sell them or something. Uh, or maybe, uh, maybe, maybe not. Do you want an R for victory ratchet? Uh, just uh, let me know. Uh, thanks for watching Outside the Barn. And, uh, you know, there's a link for the laser pecker down in the description and a pinned comment. So just check that out. And, uh, you know, if you need one of these, go ahead and go ahead and snag one.